biscuits in the oven, and now we have Chef Charles Parker here with us, also from the Harvest Table there in Meadowview, Virginia. Always fun when we have you guys on the show. It's always fun to be on your show, Amy. Oh, Glad yeah, to be back. Like a great team, you know, the culinary and the biscuits and the baking and the desserts. And then you come in, you got the hearty things. Yeah, yeah, we've got it. We've we've developed a really good uh, team strategy, I guess, if you will, at the restaurant. Yeah. And it just carries on into our outside lives as well. We're good friends, and I learn a lot from him every day, and he gets to learn absolutely nothing from me, oh, so it's I'm a great... I'm sure it is vice versa, <laughs> and he would say the exact same thing. And you're doing such a traditional cuisine with the fried green tomatoes, and I love your take on it, because everybody has a different, I feel like, recipe, a little different take. Yeah, I, you know, I grew up eating fried green tomatoes. It's a good southern food, and I wanted to find a way to really compliment Willie's biscuits. So what's one thing that first comes to your mind when you're thinking of stuffing a good hearty biscuit? Of course, it's spaghetti, and that's not what we're doing today. <laughs> but I wanted to try it with some fried green tomatoes. Okay. Yeah, so that's what we're doing. This is available uh, every Sunday brunch at our restaurant, so please come out and uh, try it. I also do this uh, with bacon. We have some really good Benton's bacon and some mm. pimento cheese usually. Oh. But this is just going to be to show how we do the biscuits and how we do the fried green tomatoes. Okay, well, let's get started. Let's do it. So, I have three bowls here. I call this my station because this is where we're going to actually dredge uh -huh. and coat the green tomatoes. So, that's just some all purpose flour, some good Duchess dairy buttermilk. Oh, nice. This is where it gets messy, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, Always yeah. messy. Mm -hmm. Always. And our last one, it's, uh, I'm going to do a little bit of more flour, but the kicker is some Whites Mill cornmeal. Ooh, okay. And then you've always got to season everything. So, I have some smoked paprika, and this has actually been smoked in uh, bourbon barrels, so it has an amazing, wow. amazing aroma and taste. Bourbon barrels, that's pretty cool. Yes. Some run of the mill garlic powder. And. Got to have a little heat, as I was talking to Chris about. So here is a little bit of cayenne pepper. Oh yeah. Woo. We like a little hit. Uh huh. Kick. Uh huh. Salt and pepper go in everything that I make, pretty much, and especially my cereal. <laughs> Me too. I love good salt and pepper on my Fruit Loops. <laughs> yes. I was always a Frosted Flakes kind of guy, uh, but I can, okay. I can get down with Fruit Loops. And yeah. Charles, we're running low on time, All so right. I am guessing we're going to do some slicing and some dredging as yes. we put them into the pan. That's right. It's really e easy. And I'm so quick, you didn't even see me move my knife. <laughs> oh, would you look at that? So we have you sliced just green to tomatoes. Have them. Yes. Okay. So really easy. I go dry, wet, dry. Oh, so man. into our flour, into our buttermilk. Look at that buttermilk, how thick it, it is. It is so Rich. thick. Yes. Okay. All right. Nice and caked on there. Yeah. That's and it. then from there, it goes right in here. Right and, in here. All right, well, we're going to put it all together and show you the results coming up here in just a few minutes. It's the Harvest Table restaurant right there in Meadowview, Virginia. Beautiful Facebook page. Check them out.